Equitox is presented by Equalist Analytics Incorporated. Check out our website at www.equalist.com. Would you like to know if you should buy, hold, or sell a stock? JC De Guzman, founder, CEO, and chief technical analyst of Equalist Analytics, will share with you his technical analysis, overall sentiment, and trade setup for one stock every day. Would you like to be an independent trader and a profitable investor? You learn how to be one right here on the Equi Talks. Welcome to episode number 17 of our Equi Talks program. I'm your host, JC De Guzman, and today I'll be talking about Bloom. So in this episode number 17, it will be Bloom. Before we tackle the chart of Bloom, I'd like to inform you that you can still watch our previous episodes, listen to the previous podcasts, and read the previous case notes on our website at www.equilist.com. And you spell that as E-Q-U-I-L-Y-S-T.com. And click on Learn. Then you will see Equitox Video, Equitox Audio, and Equitox Note. So uh, on my screen, I'm, I'm on the Equitox videos page. Okay, so these are the videos uh, for the past or previous episodes. Now, before we tackle the chart of Bloom, I'd like to show you if it has if it has some dividend announcements this 2019, and it has. There's a next dividend date of April 2, 2019, for a 15 centavo cash dividend. So if you've heard my general rule of thumb when it comes to dividend plays from the previous uh, episodes, you should already know by now if you will get dividends if you're going to buy or sell on before or after the ex dividend date. Just in case this is your first time to listen to our Equitox program, I, I would encourage you to listen to the previous episodes so you can still catch that segment where I gave a general piece of advice for those who would like to do some dividend play, dividend plays. Okay, okay. Let's move on to the chart of Bloom. Bloom closed today at 11.68. Support is at 11.12. Resistance is at 12.99. Let's make that 13, 13 pesos. Today's red candlestick went below the 10-day simple moving average, but it managed to stay above the 50-day simple moving average. So we can say that Bloom is already bearish in the short term while it's still uh, uh, bullish in the medium and long term since it's above the 50-day and the 200-day simple moving average. Now, let's take a look at the volume of Bloom. This red candlestick uh, has a volume that's below its 10-day volume average. So for, for this one, I would consider the possibility of the price of Bloom just moving sideways, maybe back and forth from where it is right now all the way to 11.6 there's a midterm support right here let me just draw that line so you can see that as well clearly that one near 11.6 now if in the in the next few days we'll be we will continue to see red candlesticks and if if suddenly the volume becomes greater than its 10 day volume average then that will change the probability or that will make uh, our sentiment uh, even more bearish and when that happens we have to keep an eye on the support at 11.12 already now for the 2019 net foreign trade bloom is on a net foreign selling status macd remains remains bearish for bloom on the daily chart on the daily as well bloom has a volatility score of 25 percent and that gives the stock a low risk level now let's take a look at the price and volume distribution analysis for bloom on the left left chart i'm showing you the the prices that got the biggest volume and on the right chart i'm showing you the prices that got the highest number of trades so for today tuesday or wednesday rather may march 27 the range that got the biggest volume is from 11.58 11.58 all the way to 11.72 now the range that got the highest number of trades is between 11.60 all the way to 11.72 it's almost the same okay? it's almost the same so that range is closer to the intraday low than to the intraday high so therefore that gives that makes me assign 
a bearish overall sentiment on bloom so i encourage you to let me just plot a rectangle here so that you can easily see this uh, this section this level here okay what wait for the price of bloom to enter this shaded area between 11.6 to 11.12 perhaps that would serve as the rebounding zone of bloom but then again we need to reevaluate when things when changes on the price move price direction uh, are when changes are spotted we have to reevaluate and take another look on the registration of volume again okay but for now i have a bearish sentiment on bloom my recommendation is to wait for the price to enter the 11.12 to 11.60 zone it doesn't mean you will have to buy automatically when the price enters that level i encourage you to reevaluate and check the volume again if there's a, a higher volume than the, the previous days then you have to be uh, bearish on your uh, continue be being bearish on your overall sentiment wait all the way to 11.12 or even lower especially if the downtrend momentum continues okay so there you go for my over my analysis overall sentiment and recommended trade setup for bloom of course you know you know already that you have to stay on top of your trailing stop loss if you already have bloom if you'd like to know more about setting up a trailing stop loss please watch or listen to the previous episodes of the equitox program where i discussed i gave some tips on how you should calculate your trailing stop loss especially if you, if this is the first time that you've heard of that phrase okay so in the in the previous episodes i gave some pieces of advice on how you should calculate your trailing stop loss all right so this is the episode number 17 for the equitox program my name is jc de guzman please don't forget to follow us on our social media channels the the links to our social media channels are indicated on the caption of this video if you're watching on youtube and on our profile on soundcloud if you are listening to the podcast and you can also see our social media channels on our website at the footer section thank you and have a great day Equitox is presented by Equalist Analytics Incorporated. Check out our website at www.equalist.com. Would you like to know if you should buy, hold, or sell a stock? JC De Guzman, founder, CEO, and chief technical analyst of Equalist Analytics, will share with you his technical analysis, overall sentiment, and trade setup for one stock every day. Would you like to be an independent trader and a profitable investor? You'll learn how to be one right here on the Talks.